Ryan and welcome to our Bosch Fan Channel. Kung saan pag-usapan natin ang specifications, applications at safety ng mga Bosch tools na meron ka na or balak mo palang bilhin. Our topic for today is the Bosch measuring tool na DTEC 200C. This is a professional wall scanner that detects different kind of objects inside the wall up to 200 millimeters deep. Mas malalim na kaya niyang ma-detect compared to other Bosch professional wall scanners. And later, ipapakita ko sa inyo ang depth detection capacity ng specific objects ng ating unit. But first, let's talk about safety. Ugaliin natin basahin ng manual for relevant safety information. And I would like to highlight two things. First is we should never use the tool sa isang environment na mayroong mga flammable liquids, gas, or dust. And second is we should familiarize ourselves sa mga building plans or yung mga pictures during construction baga tayo mag-drip or mag sa mga walls, floors, or ceilings. And this tool is IP5X protected, meaning this unit is protected from dust, alright? Now, let's take a closer look to our professional wall scanner, the DTEC 200C. This is the monitor. This one is colored for better object recognition. And at the back is the sensor, which detects the object inside the wall. Always keep this clean and dry. And these are the wheels that move the unit smoothly to scan the wall. Ensure that this is flat to get an accurate reading. And this is the handle that presses the unit onto the wall. And dito rin nakalagay yung 4 AA batteries which powers the unit. And the 4 AA batteries will last you approximately 2 hours. The 10.8 and the 12 volt lithium ion batteries are also compatible with the unit. And for this demo, I'll be using the 12 volt battery. This will last you approximately 6 hours. And these are the user-friendly buttons. Just spread the red button here to power on the tool. So there. Makikita sa start page yung last na na ginamit for the unit. In this example, the unit was set to scan in concrete. To go to the main menu, just press the left button here. First is we need to choose kung anong measuring mode yung kailangan natin gamitin. So there are three types of measuring mode. First is the object detection, wherein five object types can be detected by the unit and are color-coded. After selecting the object detection, you will select the wall type. The two other modes will be discussed separately. There are seven wall types to choose from depending on your requirement. Brick universal, concrete, drywall, panel heating, vertical coring brick, horizontal coring brick, and early age concrete. Press the information icon to see the information and restrictions of each wall type. Brick universal and concrete are the commonly used wall types. In concrete, you could set the depth of detection for more accurate reading. Dito na magagamit ang mga building plans and pictures. Ipapakita ko rin sa inyo ang chart for depth capacity per wall type and object. After selecting the wall type, you will now select the view type that you need. There are four types of views to choose from. Object view, spot view, signal view 2D, and signal view. First is the object view, kung saan mo makikita ang specific object and depth sa screen. That's why this is the most common used. Second is the spot view which allows measurement in tight spaces with the maximum depth of 6 cm. This view is a new feature for Bosch wall scanner. Third is the signal view which displays signal strength at each measuring point but with no object depth. Ginagamit ito to locate yung magkakatabi na object structure based on signal path. And fourth is the signal view 2D, which is the combination of object view and the signal view.
balikan natin yung dalawang measuring modes. Yung leakage detection and distance measurement. Sa leakage detection, you can visualize the moisture content of the surface being detected. This is perfect for locating possible water leakage. The distance measurement acts like a ruler and can measure the length of the wall or kung may required marking. Just press the red button in the middle to restart your measurement. And of course, sa device setting natin pwedeng i-customize ang settings ng ating unit. You can activate or deactivate the ruler, play with the brightness, with the audio signal, startup setting, and the automatic switch off para makatipid tayo ng battery. And of course, the language, date, and time. The measurement, so we have two measurements, so centimeters and inch. And lastly, is the factory settings. And the device information is mostly the software of our unit. The cool thing about the DTEC 200C is the connectivity, wherein you can take screenshots of your work and send those screenshots via USB or SD card connection. So you can save and send all your work in an instant. Silipin naman natin ang laman ng box ng ating unit at ipapakita ko sa inyo ang summary ng mga napagkwentuhan natin about the DTEC 200C. I hope may natutunan kayo sa ating red duwan. Please subscribe and share if you find this video helpful. Again, I'm Ryan of Bosch Fan Channel. Stay safe, stay healthy. Maraming salamat.